हेलो एवरीवन इस पूरी सीरीज के अंदर हम पूरे सिलेबस को कवर करेंगे ऑन डिजिटल लॉजिक और डिजिटल लॉजिक के अंदर जितने भी सिलेबस है पूरा जो स्टार्टिंग से एंड तक हम पूरा टॉपिक जो है सब कवर करेंगे और उसके साथ साथ हम कुछ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन को भी यहाँ पर कवर करेंगे तो आई होप जो क्लासेज है आपके लिए काफ़ी बेनिफिशियल रहेगा तो आई थिंक यू नो माई नेम माई नेम इज़ हिमांशु कौशिक और मुझे गेट की फील्ड में स्टूडेंट्स को पढ़ाते हुए बहुत टाइम हो चुका है मैं इंडिया के बेस्ट इंस्टीट्यूशन के साथ ऑलरेडी काम कर चुका हूँ और सब पहली बार मैंने गेट एग्जाम क्लियर किया था दैट वॉज इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन ट्वेल्व तो ऑब्वियसली आप देख सकते हो कि इसी फील्ड में मुझे लगभग दस साल से ज़्यादा एक्सपीरियंस हो चुका है तो ऑब्वियसली हमारा जो एक्सपीरियंस है आपके लिए काफ़ी बेनिफिशियल रहेगा तो इसी वजह से आप जो हमारी क्लासेज है उसको ज्वाइन कर सकते हैं और अगर आप मेरा कोई भी कोर्स लेना चाहते हैं ऑन अन अकेडमी तो अन अकेडमी पर मेरे पास दो तरह के कोर्सेज जो होते हैं पहला जो है दैट इज़ कॉल्ड प्लस कोर्स एंड सेकेंड इज आइकॉनिक कोर्स तो प्लस कोर्स में स्पेशल ये है कि यहाँ पर इंडिया के बेस्ट टीचर्स यहाँ पर होते हैं और साथ साथ में जो मेरी क्लासेज होती है काफ़ी इंट्रैक्टिव होती है यानी कि आप और मैं क्लासेज के बीच में इंट्रैक्टिव या डिस्कशन हम लोग कर सकते हैं और साथ साथ में जब आप आइकॉनिक कोर्स में जाएंगे तो आइकॉनिक में स्पेशल है स्पेशल ये है कि एक मेंटर आपके साथ हमेशा साथ रहेगा तो मेंटर जब भी आपको कोई भी डाउट रहेगा आपको कोई भी नोट्स की जरूरत होगी या फिर आपको कोई मोटिवेशन की जरूरत होगी तो मेंटर हमेशा आपको सपोर्ट करेगा इन एनी वे तो अगर मेरा कोई भी कोर्स लेना चाहते हैं विद अन अकेडमी चाहे आप प्लस ले या फिर आइकॉनिक ले मेरा कोई भी कोर्स अगर आप लेना चाहते हैं जस्ट यूज अ कूपन कोड विच इज कौशिक टेन क्योंकि कौशिक टेन में आपको टोटल टेन परसेंट ऑफ हमको मिल जाएगा जस्ट यूज दिस एंड होप यू लाइक दिस पूरी सीरीज जो है आपको बहुत अच्छी लगेगी एंड थैंक यू सो मच वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट एवरी बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ फंक्शन जस्ट लाइक यू कैन सी दिस इज अ बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन विच इज ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बी प्लस बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी आई कैन रिप्रेजेंट दिस बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन विद फंक्शन एफ ऑफ ए बी सी वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दिस बट कैन वी मेक अ टूथ टेबल फॉर दिस क्या हम इसके लिए टूथ टेबल बना सकते हैं लेट मी शो यू दिस सो हियर इन दिस केस वी हैव थ्री वेरेबल्स द वेरेबल्स आर ए बी एंड सी आई एम गोइंग टू राइट ए बी एंड सी हियर एंड बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ दिस ए बी सी राइट सो दिज आर थ्री वेरेबल्स सो हाउ मेनी कॉम्बिनेशन आर पॉसिबल हियर टोटल एट कॉम्बिनेशन आर पॉसिबल कौन कौन से हैं द कॉम्बिनेशन आर जीरो 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 वन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन 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 जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो एंड वन 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 एंड दिस इज अ फंक्शन एफ एफ ऑफ ए बी एंड सी नो वट आर द प्लेसिस वेर दिस फंक्शन इज एज्यूमिंग अ वैल्यू वन लुक एट दिस दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो दिस एक्सप्रेशन हियर दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ए प्रोडक्ट टर्म इसको हम क्या बोलते हैं यहाँ पर दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ए प्रोडक्ट टर्म सो वट इज दिस प्रोडक्ट टर्म दिस प्रोडक्ट टर्म से इज दैट वी हैव ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट डॉट बी ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट डॉट बी What does it really mean? इसका मतलब क्या What does it really mean? It means that wherever we have a complement dot b in those locations, this product term will be assuming a value वन उन सभी लोकेशन पर ये जो प्रोडक्ट टर्म है इसकी वैल्यू वन होगी ओके एंड वट आर दिस कॉम्बिनेशन रिप्रेजेंट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू वट आर दिस कॉम्बिनेशन रिप्रेजेंट दिस कॉम्बिनेशन रिप्रेजेंट्स ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट दिस इज ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी दिस इज ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट B C complement. This is A complement B C. This one is A B complement C complement. This is A B complement C. This is A B C complementation, and this one is A B C. So these are the terms. Now, when I'm saying that this term is assuming a value one whenever we have A complement and B. Then I can also also show this in the help of a truth table. So here you can clearly see we have a complement B, and here also we have a complement B. That means these two combinations. So here with both of these two combinations, this function is assuming a value one. So the function is here. Here, both combinations have its value one. At the same time, whenever we have B complement C, this is B complement C. So what are the locations where we have B complement C? Here, where B complement C? Where? 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 so this is b complement c as well as this is b complement c that means this combination here and this combination so here wherever we have b complement c so it is also assuming a value one here it is also assuming a value one here okay and in rest of the locations it is taking a value zero 
यहाँ पर वैल्यू जीरो है यहाँ पर वैल्यू जीरो है यहाँ पर वैल्यू जीरो है और यहाँ पर वैल्यू जीरो है सो इन ऑल ऑफ दीज केसेस इन फोर लोकेशन इट इज एज्यूमिंग वैल्यू जीरो इन फोर लोकेशन इट इज एज्यूमिंग वैल्यू वन सो इन दिस मैनर यू कैन रिप्रेजेंट अ फंक्शन विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ ट्रूथ टेबल Now in this truth table, if you look at each of दिस combination, now each of दिस combination is also associated with the decimal value. जैसे आपका जो combination है it is triple zero. So triple zero is associated with the decimal value zero. Zero zero one, it is associated with the decimal value one. So what? How am I doing it? I am doing it like zero zero one. It is in base two. If you convert this number to a decimal number, then it is having a value one. So zero one zero, it is having a decimal value two. Zero one one decimal value three one zero zero decimal value four one zero one decimal value five one one zero decimal value six one 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 decimal value seven. So those who are studying it after a very long time, let me explain you how can you convert it. So whenever we have one one zero with base two, how can you convert it to decimal value? So what you do is you take this zero and multiply it with two raised power zero plus. You take this one, multiply it with two raised power one plus. You take this one, multiply it with two raised power two. So which is equal to four plus two. That is equal to six. So that is why it is having a decimal value six. Okay. Let me show you the same with the help of the truth table. So here you can clearly see that these are the combinations of A, B, C. These are all the possible combinations that we have seen, and these are the decimal values that each of these combinations is representing. And here, these these are the values of the function. So this function is assuming a value one whenever we have a complement b. So a complement b is this case, and it is having a value one whenever we have b complement c. So this is representing a b complement c, and here also we have b complement c. So in all these cases, it is having a value one. Otherwise, it is having a value zero. Okay, I hope it is clear. Now in these expressions, there is something very important to notice. We have uh, two kinds of term. One is your sum of product, sum of product, and second one is your product of sum, product of sum. Okay. So for example, if you have an expression where we have a complement b plus b complement c. So this expression is representing your sum of product expression. Why we call it as a sum of product? Then because this term is a product term. ये कौन सी term है आपके पास? Product term. This is a product term. And if you look at this term, it is also a product term. ये भी एक product term है. And then you are doing a sum of two product term. आप दो product term का sum कर रहे हैं. That is why it is called as a sum of product. In the same way, when we do product of sum, that means let us suppose if we have the expression which is a complement plus b dot b complement plus c. This is the expression. Now in this expression, this is the product term and this is the product and this is the sum term. So if you look at this expression, if you look at this part here, so this is representing a sum term. ये किसको represent कर रही है एक sum term को. In the same way, this is also representing a sum term. ये भी एक सम टर्म को रिप्रेजेंट कर रही है सो दैट इज वाई इट इज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सम एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ओके नाउ एज यू कैन सी हियर वी हैव टेकन दिस एग्जांपल सो द फर्स्ट फंक्शन वी हैव ए बी सी डी वी हैव फोर वेरिएबल्स सो इन दिस केस यू कैन क्लियरली सी दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग योर प्रोडक्ट ऑपरेशन एंड दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग योर सम ऑपरेशन सो दिस एंटायर एक्सप्रेशन इज योर सम दिस एंटायर एक्सप्रेशन इज योर सम and this entire expression is your sum and what you are doing you are doing product of sum so this is product of sum expression in the same way when you do sum of product jab aap sum of product ki baat karte hain so this is a product term this is a product term this is also a product term and you are doing sum of some product term that is why it is called as sum of product okay and what is the literal so literal is every occurrence of a variable is called as a literal So in this case, how many variables? How many occurrence of variables are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in this case, we have a total of seven literals. How many literals are there? Total seven literals. And in this case, how many literals are there? Total total of six literals. Here, you have six literals. Okay. So I think it is clear what is sum of product and what is product of sum. Now there is something called as canonical form, or you can say standard form. 
right so this is canonical form or you can say standard form let me explain you what do you mean by canonical form or a standard form so this function here it is a three variable function kaisa function hai ye three variable ka function it is a three variable function so in a three variable function in every product term if we have all the three variables in complemented or uncomplemented form then we call it as a canonical sum of product let me explain jitni bhi aapki product term hai yahan par jitni bhi aapki product term hai har ek product term ke andar teenon jo variables hai wo ya to complemented form mein ho ya fir non complemented form mein ho kisi bhi form mein ho then we call this as a canonical sum of product in the same way in the canonical product of sum this variable this function is a three variable function so all of these three variables should occur here in each of these sum terms yahan par this is the dot operator so in each of these sum terms all of these three variables should occur yani ki jab hum canonical sum of product ki baat karte hain canonical sum of product it means that in all the product term all the variables which are present in the function all of them should come right and this in canonical product of sum in all the sum terms all the variables which are present in the function all of these variables should come then we call it as a canonical form right let me explain you with a few more examples then we we can look at the definitions so here this is giving us an expression and this expression is sum of product expression this is an sop expression right why it is an sop expression because it is a product term it is a product term and it is also a product term but this is not representing your standard or canonical sop why because in this product term b is missing kya missing hai yahan se b missing hai in this product term c is missing and in this product term a is missing so these are the variables which are missing so we have to include these variables in this product term to make it canonical so how can i convert it to canonical so the current expression that we have is ac plus ab plus bc right now i'm going to add here the variable b i can say it is a c b plus b complement here the variable c is missing so it is a b c plus c complement and here the variable a is missing so it is b c a plus a complement okay now in this case so this is a b c plus a b complement c plus this is a b c plus a b c complement plus this is a b c plus a complement b c now here you can clearly see this term is repeated three times ye jo term hai ye teen baar repeat kare so because it is repeated three times so i just have to write it once so i can write it as a b c plus a b complement c plus a b c complement plus a complement b c clear is it clear right so here all of these terms are representing your canonical sum of product you can represent kar rahe hain yahan par canonical sum of product now there's something more which is very important to notice here so we have all of a b c these three are in uncomplemented form so i can write this as 1 1 and 1 here a b complement c all of them are here so a is uncomplemented b is complemented and c is uncomplemented here we have a b c complement so i can write it as 1 1 0 here a complement bc i can write as 0 1 1 1 so that means this is representing decimal number 7 this is representing decimal number 5 this is representing decimal number 6 and this is representing decimal number 3 so there's one more way in which you can represent the same function ek aur tarike se aap is function ko represent kar sakte hain how can you represent the same function i can write it as f of a comma b comma c is equal to summation 3 5 Six seven. I've written three five six seven. That's it. And why I'm taking summation? Summation means we are doing a sum. Summation means a sum. We are doing a sum between these terms. So in this way also you can product represent your sum of product expression. Okay. Now here this 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 term which is a product term it is also called as min term. ये जो product term है हम इसको min term भी बोलते हैं. so this is representing a min term this is representing a min term and this is representing a min term to ye sabhi jo aapke product term hai all of these product terms are also called as min terms ye sab ko hum min terms bhi bolte hain okay now let us take the next example here 
so in this function f of a b c we have a plus a b c now we have to convert this function in a canonical form kaise convert karenge so here b and c are missing right here all of them are already present so i can add this a with b c so i can add b plus b complement and c plus c complement and then i'm going to have a b c here now from this i will get a b plus a b complement right here this is c plus c complement plus a b c it can be written as a b c plus a b c complement a b complement c plus a b complement c complement plus a b c right so in this the entire expression a b c is present here as well as a b c is also present here so i can write it as a b c plus a b c complement plus a b complement c plus a b complement c complement correct so if you look at each of these min terms here so this min term is representing 111 this is representing 110 this is representing 101 this is representing 100 so this is a value 7 this is a value 6 this is a value 5 and this is a value 4 so i can also write the same function in this manner i can also write it as summation 4 5 6 7 and this is representing the function f of a comma b comma c to hum isko is tarike se bhi likh sakte hain i hope it is clear aap sabhi ko samajh mein aaya hoga if you have any doubt please feel free to ask your doubts in the comment section now this is representing a product of sum so you can clearly see this is a product of sum expression this is a product of sum expression and this is a product of sum expression and these product of sum expressions these are called as your max terms hum inko kya bolte hain hum bolte hain inko max terms theek hai so how can i convert these max term to the canonical form kaise convert kar sakte hain so i can take ab and what is missing here so i can write c dot c complement here we have b plus c what is missing here a dot a complement right here we have ac so we have a plus c what is missing here b dot b complement right and then you can apply distributive law aap yahan par distributivity property ko follow kar sakte hain you can apply distributive law here so this will become a plus b plus c dot a plus b plus c complement dot this is a plus b plus c dot a complement plus b plus c dot then we have a plus b plus c dot a plus b complement plus c so further this this and this these expressions are same so i can write it as a plus b plus c then we have a plus b plus c complement then we have a complement plus b plus c and then we have a plus b complement plus c so now you can see this entire product of sum this entire product of sum is uh, in canonical form to ye jo pura product of sum hai ye canonical form mein hai this is representing a canonical form okay so now you can see something very interesting here kuch cheeze hain jo bahut zyada interesting hai yahan par so when we take a min term min term means we are discussing about the product term when we take a max term so max term means we are discussing about the sum term okay so a min term takes a value 1 for exactly one combination of variables jaise this is a min term which is a complement b complement c complement so if i give a, a as 0 if i give b as 0 if i give c as 0 then only this min term will be having a value 1 otherwise it will be having a value 0 right it will take a value one for exactly one combination of variables right for exactly one input combinations here you can write it down because this point is very important but when i take a max term so this max term will take a value zero for exactly one combination of variables so here we are talking talking about it is taking a value one and here we are talking about it is taking a value zero right so what do i mean to say by this is so If I write a complement, b complement, c complement, it will take take a value one only if a is zero, b is zero, and c is zero. And this will take a value one. So this will take a value zero only if 
a0 b0 and c0 so in case of these max terms we are taking talking about when can these max term take a value 0 and here we are talking about when can this can take a value 1 so here you can see in these variables we have 0 0 1 so that means min terms will become a complement b complement c but for what will the max term max term will be a plus b plus c complement here the min term will be a complement b c complement here the max term will be a b complement c complement so in rough words you can say in rough words you can say whenever i have to make a min term in case of min term i write 0 as a complement i write 1 as non complemented form but in case of a max term i write 0 as non complement and i write 1 as a complemented form so ye aapko pata hona chahiye this is this should be very very clear and we are going to take lot of example based on this kafi examples aayenge based on those examples you can also see how can we solve it okay so just again i'm repeating the same sentence again a max term will assume a value 0 for exactly one input combination of variables and min term will assume a value 1 for exactly one combination of this input variables theek hai so ye aapko clear hona chahiye i think this is clear so let us move forward so here you can see these min terms we represent them with the help of summation because it is the sum terms and these max terms because they are the product terms so that is why we represent with the help of pi so pi represents product summation represents sum so in this manner so here you can clearly see this is representing value 0 0 1 this is 0 1 1 this is 1 1 0 so if you convert 0 0 1 this is representing a value 1 0 1 1 is representing a value 3 1 1 0 is representing a value 6 right so i can write it as summation 1 3 6 and here it is representing a value 0 this is representing a value 3 this is representing a value 6 this is representing a value 1 so i can write it as summation 0 1 3 6 this is pi 1 3 6 so yahan par hum log kya use karna we are going to use pi and here we are going to use summation so pi is used in in case of uh, product sum, product of sum and summation is used in case of sum of product jo product of sum mein hum pi use karte hain aur jo sum of product mein hum summation ko use karte hain so this is uh, should be clear because these terminologies we are going to use extensively while solving the questions in your examination most of the time they will give you these terminologies on, only while asking the questions okay so let us take this example here we have a function which is a plus b complement c and we have to represent this in the sum of min terms hum isko sum of min terms mein represent karna hai how can i do it so here with this a b plus b complement is missing c plus c complement is missing and here a is missing so i'm going to do a plus a complement and then i can expand it after expanding it i will get this expression and further this expression this is representing your because it, these are min terms so it is representing zero sorry it is uh, this one is representing one this is presenting 1, this is presenting 1 because they are min terms, they are not max terms. Right, so this is presenting value 7. Here, this is representing a value 0, 0 and 1, which is representing a value 1, right. So, I, I, so this entire function here, I can also represent this entire function using this terminology. A pure function ko kuch is tarikhe se bhi represent kar sakte hai.